Now it is time to hand you over to the recipient of the Best Newcomer Award at last Saturday night's TV Now Awards, Mr. Sean Monsanje. That never gets old. I'm going to make you do that every day, by the way, from I'm now on. Sorry. Anyway, the Ronan Keating saga continues today. Here's the story. Yes, we're on the red carpet at Leicester Square for the European premiere of the A-Team. We're talking Bradley Cooper, Jessica Biel, our very own Liam Neeson's going to be here. And I think they drug BA and got him on a plane. I love it when a plan comes together. The fans went crazy as the A-team went A-list, with Bradley Cooper first up to walk the red carpet. I have to say, you're handsome enough to play Face. I don't remember Face having this huge buff body. You look great in this. Thank you, what? yeah. It was a lot of work. I was going to say. Yeah, yeah it wasn't, it did, I wasn't born that way. <laughs> yeah, no. You find it hard in your job to actually have a relationship with anybody in the first place? Um, not enough not to do it. Okay, fair, fair enough. I read also that you, boyfriends you have, if you are going away, you make them wear t t their t-shirt for five days and then you take it with you. So you have their scent with you on the road. Oh, Is that yeah. true? I, I, I do love the smell of a man. And <laughs> I just, I, I like the funk. I like the yumminess. And yeah, if you're with somebody and you can like take their stinky t-shirt with you, it's kind of sexy and you sleep with it. It's nice. I also read actually in the same article that you're, you don't like modern technology. You're not, when it comes to relationship, surely if you're on the road, Dead handy, give a quick text, maybe go on Twitter. No? No. Why not? Because I want someone to write me letters. Hollywood legend John Voight was also there on the night. So was winning an Oscar the highlight of his career? No, it, 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 I'm glad I won one at a certain point because now they can inter introduce me as the Academy Award winning actor John Voight. That's it. It's great to see you. And you're over here not to perform or record music or anything. You're judging on the X Factor. I am giving, uh, hopefully, some constructive criticism. Okay. But we've got the new single, of course, California Girls, which we're loving over here. It's got Thanks. number one everywhere. Are California Girls really that crazy and hot? What do you think of the Irish Girls? Irish Girls uh, have a lot more um, vivacious attitude. Okay, I don't I know like if that, that even makes sense. Listen, Katy Perry, before you go, I have a little Prezi for you. because Prezi. Obviously, you're huge here, and we know your next album is going to be even bigger. But for now, we want to congratulate you on your previous record. Double, pl double platinum, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this, Isn't it guys. Cool? That's Congratulations. Gorgeous. You're a doll. Lovely Thank to you. meet you. Mwah. And good luck with the wedding. I expect to see you in Ireland for it, right? You, I'll be here in <laughs> Ireland. Joining me now with all the goss is self-confessed X Factor junkie FM 104's Sean Monsange. Sean, that girl deserves to be on the stage just for her antics alone. She's isn't such it? a drama queen, isn't she? Big time. Controversial as ever. I mean, I think we were all shocked when she got through. As soon yeah. as Simon said um, that he was going to vote for her, it was just like... It was obvious it was going to go to deadlock because obviously there's going to be two and two probably at best. Of course, you could see so how it was going to play out. Totally. And then I kind of, I, I think Aiden didn't deserve to be there either. It was one of those where he did no. Rocket Man on Saturday night. And I think he actually did a really good, so good performance. Whereas Katie's Saturday night's all right. It was a bit of a, a shambles. I, as, a, as an actor, that's all you ask for is to reach people. And so it's been really, like, like, like overwhelmingly satisfying. Cool. And was it fun to step back into Bella's shoes? Were you excited about going back into the role? Say hi to Sean. I will. Hey, yeah, Sean, what's hi. up with Sean? Hi, yeah. Sean. Great guy. Hey, he's, Sean. He's not going to say hello back. Oh. Sean. Okay, Sean. Hello, is this thing on? Yeah. Sean. This is Sean. So never one to disappoint and looking to catch up with the guys, I arranged to sit down once again with the maddest men in showbiz. Three, two, one, Three. interview us. <laughs> Guys, welcome to Expose. Thanks a million for joining us. First of all, how are you enjoying Ireland? I went to Stephen's Green yesterday, and sat on the grass for a while. Chilled out. I like it. You're enjoying Ireland anyway. Yeah, I might, I might cruise down a Sheriff Street if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think we'll move on to the... To the there's an Expose exclusive. Yeah, there's an Expose exclusive. It's a bit too much. The Toy Hard fans went wild for their heroes, and first up the red carpet was Orpats himself, who was, as always, modest about all the attention. As soon as you get used to it, you turn into... You turn into an idiot. <laughs> I think so. Are you, are you getting used to sharing the love with Taylor, though? Because everybody's Team Taylor or Team Edward on this one. Oh, man. I can, Taylor, Taylor can take control. And Taylor's, Taylor's I think, much better. He's, he's much more cut out to, to deal with things. Really? I think so. He's a much stronger person than I am. Wow. I really like it, but I have no cufflinks. That's Foley, yeah. shut up, I think you're scaring the customers sorry, there, man, right? Sorry. But I have to say, this is slick. It's I all right, isn't it? I, I really like it. You yeah. look the part. I can see you doing it now. What? Oh, you couldn't see me doing no, it before. That, thanks for your confidence, <laughs> <Sean>. <laughs> I'm I'm joking. No, it's going to be brilliant. As you say, people can still, if you want a date, 
Yes. Who's the guy to be calling? And so I went on to ask her anyway about She Wolf. You know the new video? She's so raunchy, so sexy. She has to be doing a bit of yoga or Pilates on the side for yeah. it. So I asked her about that, but she ended up saying something she didn't mean to say. Ooh. I actually did a little bit of gymnastics when I was 10. Okay. Yeah, so I guess some of that sex. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Freudian slip. Oh my slip god, there. Freudian slip right here. <laughs> Gonna, <laughs> You're just too sexy. Say, flexibility. Okay. <laughs> speaking, speaking okay. Of, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of sex and being flexibility. sexy. Flexibility. You ooze sex appeal, right? Deals around the topic of sex. I'm you blushing. really do. It may be the last night of the Jemson Dublin International Film Festival, but it ain't over till the fat lady sings. And I'm in the red carpet to talk to Tilda Swinton for a new movie, I Am Love. Is it important for you to be individual in your style? It's kind of inevitable. What can I do with this face? <laughs> You're currently the face of Pringle at the moment as well. I for am. For men's me. wear and women's That's wear. That's what I was going to say. Yes. You're mixing it up. Is that kind of fun? Well, I mean, Pringle. I mean, anybody who has the nerve to and the intelligence to think of me to be men's wear and women's wear uh, uh, model for them is, uh, you know, has to be celebrated. Expose Shaman Sanjay was the recipient of the Crystal Best Newcomer Award. On how are you feeling? I'm shockers. Can you believe it? I was like, oh my god. Then like they announced my name, and I was walking up, and I was going, oh my god, what the hell am I going to say? So I'm absolutely stunned, Aww. but thrilled. Can you believe this? It's absolutely brilliant. Did you not have any inkling at all? Did you I honestly a didn't. I didn't. And they say watch the camera, and they, say, they also yeah, say they yeah. say we're so watch the camera, right? So no camera on me. Then they say if the soap star comes over and they're nominated, they're going to win. It's in the bag. And the, the soaps of Carnation Street, Ben Price, his name is. Yeah. He was on the table beside us, near the stage. So I was like, not a chance. Seal an award off the cobbles. I love it. I'm no, going to it. Nothing I was surprised by you, right? You've got a voice. You've got a great singing voice. I saw Crazy Heart the other week. It's an easy song, man. Ah, no, go way out of that. There wasn't much range in that song. <laughs> did you practice or did you just naturally have a good voice? Did you get a vote? No, I'm, I'm fairly tone deaf, man, to be honest with you. I'm serious. The song was very easy. Florence duetted on the hugely successful remix of You've Got the Love with rapper Dizzy Rascal. So, would you do another live duet with Dizzy again? We haven't spoken about it, um, but I love, I love Dizzy, so it would be nice to see him anyway. You mentioned the photographers. Wherever you go, you attract a crowd. Do you, do you like the fame side? I heard you're not too into it. Um, it's just a bit like daunting, I think, especially when you're trying to talk and there's less of people taking. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, oh, it's quite. Uh, it just kind of get. It gets slightly distracting. Do you work out a lot, and do you try and stay, stay? Do you work to look as good as you do, Jessica? I haven't worked out in like a year and a half, no. and I need to. Um, but let's get back you to do. You. Yeah, you do. <laughs> really do. Trust me, you do. <laughs> Sean, what did you think? Fabulous. Yes! Absolutely fabulous. Thank you. I loved it. Amazing. Oh, I know she could be annoying. She could be annoying. She goes too far sometimes. Yes. This time, yes, was over the top. But that's what the Oscars is all about. And it looks fabulous. I believe you used to be a smoker. Was that hard to smoke in the film and not go back on them? It was. For two days, it was tough. Because right? the director insisted I smoke these cigars. And they were Cuban cigars, too. Okay, and speaking of rats, and that's one thing that had my skin crawling. I'm petrified of rats. Oh, really? So watching, yeah, I was looking away, what, what, watching you do that scene. Are you, are, you, are you scared of rats? Do you have anything you're scared of? And were they real rats? They were absolutely real rats. The thing about these rats, though, were they were they were very professional. <laughs> they were extremely well trained. They had they stayed on their mark when they were supposed to stay on their mark. They squeaked. And they were clean, so they, there was no chance of any black plague starting to happen on <laughs> on, on set. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, no uh, mass extinction that might have gone on. But they, you know, I, I have to say, they're the most professional rats I've ever worked with. <laughs> okay.